Well, Dr. Zakia, is there any information that you need to impart to the viewers of Peace TV before we start this long series of interviews and question and answer sessions regarding Ramadan, a date with Dr. Zakia? Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala ali wa sahibi ajmain amma abad a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim rabbi shahri sadri wa yassirli amri wa ahlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli before we start this long series of episodes ramadan date with dr zakir i would like to make my position very clear that i consider myself to be a student of knowledge i consider myself to be a talib ilm I don't consider that I'm a scholar to give fatwas in a fight Islam ruling is concerned. And as far as this topic on Ramadan, there are various issues and there are various differences of opinions as far as different scholars are concerned, as far as different schools of thought are concerned. Since there are only four verses in the Quran dealing directly with Ramadan, that's Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 83, verse number 184, verse number 185, and verse number 187. There are indirectly another few verses, but directly only four verses. So most of the rulings are based on the hadith. And some scholars have used Zaif hadith, some have used Maudu hadith, some have used Sai hadith. So as far as what I'll be answering, it will basically be the views of different scholars. Only I'll be selecting those scholars who I feel have quoted on the basis of Quran and Sai hadith. So it may not agree with some of the viewers' view, which they're used to, our opinion should always be based on Quran and say Hadith. When required, I may give the difference of opinion to different scholars. I'll name the scholars if required. Most of the time, I may not name. But I'd like to make it very clear at the outset that all the answers as far as Ramadan issues are concerned, none of them are my own answers. They are basically some or the other scholars who have said it. And I'll try my level best to name the scholars whenever required so that no one feels that I'm trying to give my own opinion. But I always believe that the answer should be based on Quran and Sahih Hadith. So that I'll try my level best. And inshallah, as far as possible, whenever I quote Hadith, I will try and give the references, whether some say Bukhari or say Muslim, the volume number, as well as the Hadith number, so that people can, you know, check it up. And as far as possible, the Hadith I'll be quoting will be authentic. And similarly with the verses of the Quran. And that's my normal method of giving replies, so that people whenever they get the answer, they get from authentic source of Quran and say hadith. And whatever right or good that comes out from my mouth will be from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever wrong and mistakes that come from my mouth will be from my side and from the side of the shaitan. So I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the accursed. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may this series be beneficial for all of us, including the viewers, inshallah. Ameen.